Hey, this is Wolf from Verify Bushcraft, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about the guck that builds up here on your wood stove. Many people will agree with me when I say there is nothing more beautiful than having a fireplace or a wood stove in your home, in your cabin, in your lodge, uh, to relax on a, on a cold winter's night. The challenge sometimes that happens with these wood stoves is over time, this stuff like this right here and that stuff there, it sort of builds up and obscures your view of the fire, right? So that's kind of the opposite reason to have a fire. Uh, you can use all kinds of commercial cleaning products, window cleaners to try to get this clean, but I've learned a really cool hack that allows you to get this clean in seconds rather than scrub it with uh, like a Windex product or something like that. Before we begin to try to tackle this and get this off, you're going to need some tools. First and most important things, make sure this has been off overnight. You don't want to be working with the stove when it's hot, should go without saying. Uh, then you're going to need uh, some wipes. You can use kind of baby wipes. Uh, you can use anything you really want. Uh, these are, I don't know, whatever I found at a, at a local uh, grocery store. And, uh, but they work. They will work for this task. Um, you could even use a face cloth or an old rag as long as you can get it wet. Next thing we're doing, we're going to open it up and expose the inside of the stove so we can see the spot that we're trying to work at. So here's the inside of our stove. So if we clean it like this, you can see it's not really taking the crud off the window. You can see it just kind of makes a bit of a mess. It does get a little bit of it off. But here's a fun trick. Inside the stove, of course, is lots and lots and lots of soot or wood ash or anything, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take one of my wipes and I'm going to take it out like this. You just need one. It doesn't even need to be a full one. Now here's the fun thing. So the wood ash or the carbon uh, or whatever, like I said, whatever you want to call it, is slightly abrasive. Not a lot, slightly. So I'm going to take a, I'm just going to dip that right in there. See, I get the wood ash right on that. Now I'm just going to wipe my window down and you'll see how fast it just starts to take all the crud right off the window. Does a really, really good and fast job. And I'm literally just dipping it in. So the slight abrasiveness of the wood ash that's left over in the fireplace, you can use again and again to get your stove face clean, just like that. See how that's coming off compared to when I didn't have it on there? You can get it as clean as you want, but you, it does a really, really good job and it's free and you've got an abundance of it. If you've got the stove, you've got the ash. So just like that, all clean. Look how it just took it clean off. Look at that. It does a great job of removing it. Now the next step, I'll just get a, a, another cloth and my window cleaner. And of course, this is 100% cotton, so it can go into my fire. Again, window cleaner, just to finish it off. Old brag, just to make it a little bit nice and fancy. Get anything off it that I don't want on there. There we go. Nice and clean. Took all the, the, all the soot and the ash right off the window using materials that I already have right there in my stove. There we have it. A nice, perfectly clean, or as clean as I want to get it, wood stove glass using what was already in the stove. So that's basically that. Homesteading is about getting back to your roots, back to the land, reclaiming the kind of rewilding of yourself and uh, using the material that you could find in the stove to clean the stove. Really, really fun, fun idea. Again, I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video. I am Wolf for Barefoot Bushcraft. Please consider subscribing.